Hey, Cody Shade here with you, and we are so pumped to show you the brand new exterior of one of our top selling R-Pod models. I'm standing here with the R-Pod 192 today, just over 20 feet long, under 3,500 pounds, and has such a bang for the buck that you're not gonna believe it. We're gonna start here on the front, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what makes R-Pod so unique. This is a partial automotive wrap, so it spans the whole length of the side of the R-Pod down both sides. It's got a beautiful honeycomb finish, We've got these gold accents in here. And for you frog lovers, we even have our frog that's sitting next to a uh, nice little honeycomb and a honeybee there. So really exciting new stuff on the outside of the R-Pod. In the last couple seasons, we've added that front window on the front of the R-Pod, which brings so much more natural light to the inside. Standard 20 pound LP tank. You can exchange it at any gas station in America. With a 30 pound LP tank, you have to take it somewhere and get it filled up all aspects of the R-Pod, we try to make camping as easy for you as possible. A huge exterior storage area, a power awning. This is perfect for an evening with your picnic table set up out here. We do also offer the Amber Scare Light, which is also LED. Doesn't draw the bugs. It doesn't draw so much attention at a campground if you are at the campsite. We want to give you the perfect blend of standard content and customer focused features that aren't gonna break your bank, okay? And, I, and with saying that, I wanna show you one of our brand new features this year, which is our exterior bush kitchen. Now for a limited time, you may have, um, you may find an R-Pod in stock that features this bush kitchen. We don't offer it all year round, but it is something that um, we are gonna be offering uh, to uh, select partners this fall. And it's really cool. What it includes is, of course, you've got this 17 inch griddle. Uh, if any of you at home are cooking uh, at home or at the campsite on a black stone uh, cooktop or some kind of griddle cooktop, there's nothing easier. There's no grates for you to spill or make a mess. You can really dial in the temperature and you can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner on it. We also feature this great prep station on the outside, okay? So you have a workstation, you have a griddle, and then the only thing missing is what? A water source. So you've got this detachable uh, high pressure spray port mounted conveniently right next to the kitchen. It's not way up there in the front. It's not way on the other side of the unit. It's right where you need it, right, right next to uh, that cooking surface. So this all uh, attaches right to the side of the 2021 R-Pod and it all slides off. It fits nicely and conveniently inside of that baggage door. Uh, but make sure if you're interested in our pod, you ask your local dealer about uh, the new exterior bush kitchen. One thing that a unit in this size and weight category would not always have is a black tank flush. And this is one of those things that you, you don't realize how much you need it until you don't have it. And that's, that's the reality of it. What makes this so nice is that you've got a, um, uh, a pressurized system inside the tank that, that when a hose is plugged into it, it uses water pressure to spin an agitator inside that black tank. So what happens is some of those solids, we'll call them, get built up inside the black tank over time. And without that black tank flush, that sediment could sit in there permanently. When you put your camper away for the winter time and it dries out, it's really hard, if it not impossible, to get that stuff out of there. So having a unit with a black tank flush, whether it's ours or somebody else's, is definitely a feature that, that you wanna make sure you don't miss. With that, there's two other things I, I wanna point out. One of them, which is easily overlooked, this four inch square bumper is what I like to call an insurance policy, okay? If you happen to back into something or bump into something, you're not gonna spend a lot of money on a fiberglass repair. You've got this nice bumper back here that does what bumpers do, okay? Now it does have a dual purpose. Not only does it handle our spare tire, okay, which is its permanent mounting position, not underneath the coach. Many units have the spare tire mounted underneath. The biggest problem with that is you're gonna cut way down on any kind of ground clearance that you might have. So say if you're going into um, you know, a harvest host location or somewhere that maybe not is not inside of a campground, you're gonna need a little extra ground clearance. And the last thing you wanna be doing is scraping your spare tire on the bottom of your unit. So keep that in mind. But this, this four inch um, square bumper also houses your sewer hose, okay? And again, this is a, you know, kind of a dirty, a dirty little secret that nobody wants to tell you. But if you buy a unit and it doesn't have a four inch square bumper, you know where that sewer hose goes? Inside that unit, okay? So after you have to 
flush out your black tank system, the last place you want to put that hose is inside your camper. So the first thing you'll notice inside the RPOD 192 is how spacious it is. This unit does not feature a slide out. I think for a unit this size that doesn't have a slide out, you have plenty of room. And I'm going to point out just a few features inside here. So first of all, you'll notice this nice big dinette. This is a 30 inch dinette. It would easily sit two adults or at least three or four children plus an adult. Um, it does convert into a sleeping space uh, that's 75 inches long, but just a great little dinette area, um, you know, for, for breakfast, dinner, uh, after you get back from the trail. I also want to point out to you how wide the aisleway is here. Typically in a small unit, usually things get really narrow. The doorways get really narrow, the aisleways get really narrow, and everything here is nice and wide. You can see behind me, we feature this pocket door. You know, the last thing you want in a unit this size is a big swinging door that's kind of always in the way. So having this pocket door is a, is a great feature. Behind me, you have a bathroom that spans the entire width of the unit. Okay, so you've got an oversized shower, a big bathroom. For a unit that's 20 feet, it's everything you could ever ask for. Feature-wise, inside the RPOD 192 is where we kind of really stand apart. Something like a six cubic foot refrigerator, a standard convection microwave oven, and our exclusive uh, central vacuum system allow you to bring all the creature comforts of your home uh, out onto the road with you. Uh, those items coupled with our 18 inch deep bowl sink and our two burner recessed cooktop really help you feel like you're at home if you're uh, forced to cook inside. So one of the features I wanted to save is the best for last and that's the RPOD sleep system. It all starts with this 56 inch sofa. Okay, it's got a, a nice high-end vinyl covering. In fact, all of our furniture features this multi-purpose vinyl covering that makes it great if you have pets that are sitting on it or if you come in and you're dirty coming off the trail. This is easy to clean, easy to maintain, and it's almost bulletproof. Uh, it's a very comfortable uh, sofa for sitting, but there's one great feature about this that I'm gonna show you, and that's that this particular sofa converts into a bed. So the RPOD sleep system allows you to have a full-size 80-inch bed that stows away during the day for a living space and at night creates a, a full-size queen bed. Now this is very important because a lot of times what you're going to see in a unit this size is an RV queen. And an RV queen is a bed that's uh, six inches shorter than a typical queen. It's only 74 inches long. What makes that an issue is that in an RV this size, if you ever wanted to change the mattress or get a new mattress, attempting to find a short mattress or an RV queen in anything in a premium brand is going to be difficult. So keep that in mind. It's a true 80 inch bed. Thank you for exploring with us the new RPOD 192. We're super excited about how it turned out for 2021. And if you have any more questions about the RPOD brand or the RPOD 192 in general, please visit us at forestriverinc.com slash rpod or check out our Instagram or Facebook page.